The partnership that we've got set up with CBH and the funding that that has provided has actually enabled Lifeline WA to expand our counselling services um, to look into particularly grief and loss counselling at this point. I can definitely see that there is a high demand for counselling services that are particularly addressing grief and loss. Um, unfortunately, the supply is quite slim, but that's where Lifeline comes in and we're actually able to offer the service to anyone who's requiring it via telehealth. So that includes Zoom appointments as well as phone counselling sessions. Lifeline WA has created a pack with CBH which will have a, a range of resources to people in their com particular communities. In the booklet you'll be able to find resources that are relevant to the particular area that you live in and where you can get help in your immediate area for whatever crisis that you're going through in your life. The support of CBH for Youth Focus is very important for young people living in remote locations that can't access specialist support for their mental health. The hope is that if we intervene with young people early, because what we know about the incidence and prevalence of mental health is that lots of lifelong mental health difficulties start in adolescence. If we can intervene in that early, then it means that sort of burden of mental health and mental disease um, is less through the lifetime. Currently, the support of CBH helps us um, support young people in towns like Northampton, Meriden, Narragin, Noangarup, Katanning. Those towns and some of the young people who live in those towns and adjacent towns wouldn't otherwise have any access to mental health support. It alleviates some of the burden on hospitals and on schools and on parents. It means that young people fully participate so they come back and be a part of school, be a part of local clubs, be a part of finding the life that feels meaning and fulfilling for them sooner without mental health interrupting it. Agricultural communities have a unique set of challenges, particularly when times are tough. So farmers will spend weeks on end not leaving their properties, staring at the hard times day in and day out, which is tough. And it's quite often very difficult to leave their properties to go and seek help. Um, and there is unfortunately still a stigma about mental health. The Black Dog Institute periodically comes through our local town to train GPs and fellow mental health professionals and they're looking at upskilling us and enabling us to go back to our everyday practice and ensure the wellbeing of our patients and the community in which they live. There is definitely a great need for health practitioners within rural Australia to have access to education close to home. Uh, it makes it far easier to engage in learning and to then immediately be able to put what we've learnt into practice. Mental Illness Fellowship of WA, they were fantastic um, in arranging and customising the workshops for our students. We provide the students with the backgrounds to mental illnesses so they can learn a little bit about how it feels in their shoes um, and they learned how to support other students. We actually called some of the health lines um, that we actually learnt about in the mental health first aid um, and the kids really benefited from that because they had first hand were talking to the people and the psychologists on the end of the helpline. I believe that they have more confidence to be able to pick up the phone and call those helplines and that support if they ever feel that they need to. People are more open, especially some of my friends. They come up to me and tell me, oh, this person means me. And I say, oh, well, you know, I'm here for you and I'll be your friend for a long time. We teach these students in health um, and then they go home and tell their parents what they've been talking about. Uh, not only that, at our school, we put mental health information in our newsletters, which in turn goes out into the community in the local paper. So ultimately, I think that everybody is learning a little bit more and this, you know, mental health information is growing in our community.